warm welcome children today we are going to learn the new topic from a grammar textbook grammar chess and the name of the chapter is adjectives now we all have learned adjectives in smaller classes so you can tell me what do you mean by an adjective adjectives are also known as describing words it means that they can tell you more about the nouns in a particular sentence okay so let's see so basically adjectives they are describing words and they tell us more about the person animals places and things we are talking about okay so just have a look at these three sentences the first sentence rohini has a pink dress okay so the first sentence is about rohini and it seems that she has a dress a pink colored dress so over here in this sentence the word dress is a noun right children and the word pink tells you what color exactly the dress is it tells you about the color of the dress so the word pink would be the adjective in this sentence because it describes the word dress which is a noun so basically children adjectives they describes the it describes a noun in a sentence all right now just look at the second one it was an interesting movie the second sentence is about a movie and the word movie is a noun right so what kind of a movie interesting is given here so the word interesting would be the adjective as it tells you about what kind of a movie we are talking about we are talking about an interesting movie so the word interesting is the adjective in this particular sentence now let's look at the third sentence given here father bought four chocolates father bought chocolates and four is given here right so how many chocolates four the word four is the adjective in this sentence written over here so children the words that describe a noun is basically an adjective and an adjective is also known as a describing word so it tells you about what kinds of a noun that we speak about or in a sentence as you know we speak about nouns in a sentence so what over here adjectives are describing words that tells us more about persons animals places and things in a sentence okay i hope you got that now there are different types of adjectives that we have to learn just have a look at this there are five types that we have to learn and the first one adjectives of quality adjectives of quantity adjectives of number demonstrative adjectives interrogative adjectives and possessive adjectives so these are the various types of adjectives that we are going to learn this year and uh, the first one let us see what the first one is adjectives of quality okay so adjectives of quality tells us about the kind or nature of a person thing or animal example words like small big large etc so adjectives of quality tells us about what kind of a person kind or nature of a person animal or thing we mention in a sentence okay so here just look at these sentences this the first sentence this is an interesting book so the first sentence is about a book and it is mentioned that it is an interesting book so as all of us know the word book is a noun and what kind of a book it is it is interesting so the word interesting would be an adjective and it is an adjective of quality because it tells you what type of a book it is or what kind of a book is mentioned here now let us uh, just look at the second one second sentence meena is a good dancer all right it is about a girl called meena who is a dancer the word dancer as all of us know is a noun 
now what kind of a dancer she is she is a good dancer so the word good describes what kind of a dancer meena is so the word good becomes our adjective of quality okay so basically adjective of quality it tells us about the kind or the nature of person um things or animals that are mentioned in a sentence okay and it should answer the question what kind of so that is how we identify whether an adjective is an adjective of quality okay so i hope you got that clear adjectives of quality would rather tell you about the kind or the nature of person animals or things mentioned in a sentence and there are many words that describe it like small big large and over here we spoke about an interesting book the word interesting is the adjective and here meena is a good dancer the word good becomes the adjective of this sentence now let us go to the next one <clears throat> okay adjectives of quantity the second type all right now what is this adjectives of quantity tells us about the quantity of a thing example words like some enough much we use these words while we talk so basically when we speak about something which we cannot count or when we speak about uncountable nouns we use adjectives of quantity to describe it so adjectives of quantity would rather tell us about the quantity of a thing okay and that it should answer the question how much it's related to quantity so how much that question should be answered right for us to identify what is a quantity what is ad, uh, adjective of quantity now let us have a look at these sentences here the teacher gave me some homework all right so this sentence is sentence tells us that the teacher has given some homework to the children basically or to the child and the word homework again is a noun it is a noun and the word some the word some what does it do it describes the amount of homework given right we don't sit and count it normally so we are just using the word some as an adjective of quantity because it answers the question how much okay now the second sentence i have enough time to complete the work so in the second sentence the word enough would be the adjective okay because it describes the time all right so you have enough time to do the work so the word enough would be rather the adjective of quantity in this particular sentence enough time so the person is saying that the person has enough time to complete the work the word enough describes time over here all right children so basically adjectives of quantity would rather tell us about the quantity of a thing and we use words like some enough and much to express adjectives of quantity and it should answer the question how much now coming to the next one okay the next one adjectives of numbers now what is this adjectives of number tell us about the number of persons things or animals that are expressed or mentioned in a particular sentence and we use numbers like 1 2 and many is also an adjective of number all right and adjective of number should answer what question children it should answer how many the previous one was for uncountable so we used the question how much and over here we are talking about countable nouns the previous was uncountable and this is countable noun so it should answer the question how many just take a look at this all students were present at the event okay so there is some event and all the students of a class were present so the word all is actually an adjective of number right because we are able to count the students if we actually want to okay so all becomes the adjective of number here in this first sentence 
similarly let us see the second one they will return after two weeks okay the word two is mentioned here the number is mentioned here right two weeks so again two becomes the adjective of number okay so basically it should answer the question how many an adjective of number is actually it tells us about the number of person things or animals that are involved in a particular sentence or that we are talking about in a particular sentence all right let us move on to the next one all right so there are few other words also that we can use as adjectives words like little few much and many now the word little over here is an adjective of quantity okay and it is basically used to express uncountable nouns nouns that we cannot count we express it using the word little which is an adjective of quantity and over here like little work or little smile you cannot sit and count it there are uncountable nouns the word smile and the word work so we use the word little same way the word few is an adjective of number because it is used to express countable nouns example few people few chair right then the word much the word much is also used as an adjective it becomes an adjective of quantity because we cannot sit and count help given by people or help that you gain from someone or you give for someone we cannot count it so we use the word much which is an adjective of quantity it is an uncountable noun same way the word many is an adjective of number right because over here look at the example many books books can be counted it is an un, it is a countable noun right so many is an adjective of number okay and the example given here again this many books which is a countable noun so these words are also used as adjectives of can be used as adjectives in a sentence okay so children there are uh, exercises given in your text after each topic so i want you to do it all right based on what you have understood after seeing this video okay